Oh, excuse me. <laughs> What's going on, people? Man, we're back here with another video, man. Today, we'll be talking about the Elgato HC60 Pro not showing up in Elgato HC60's, uh, oh, my dumbass, in Elgato software or in OBS. I got a couple of tips for you guys on how to basically uh, fix your uh, problem. I have a solution. So, I legit just did a whole unboxing and installing. If you guys want to check that out, it'll be at the end of the video or maybe a car, possibly right now. It all depends on when I put where I put it. So, first things first. There's a couple of uh, problems that you may actually run to. For one, if it's in the wrong slot in the PCIe. Now, first things first, a person like me, when I first booted up Elgato, it didn't register at all because maybe it's because I had the Elgato AC60S drivers installed. So before you do this, make sure you have the 60 Pro uh, drivers installed. That could also fix your problem. But just give me a moment. I'm going to continue to talk. Like I said, if it doesn't, if you have it in the right slot, it's really easy to install. Even my dumb ass did it. You guys shouldn't have no problem at all. If it's installed and you boot up El Gato and it's uh, having a problem, before you try to switch it out into another PCIe slot, you don't have to do that. Hold on, give me one moment. Okay, so once you go to Google or whatever you plan on doing it at, type in Elgato drivers or type in Elgato AC60 Pro drivers or AC60S, whatever the case may be. Now, if you guys did make the major jump, this could also be a major fix for you guys. So once you head to the soft uh, website, that will give you many options, the base or Elgato, even the AC60, AC60S Pro, and also 4K. Now, make sure you download it, and I already did it, so I'm not going to do it again. Make sure you download it, reset your PC, and then boot up Elgato. Now, it will give you a, a notification that, hey, you have, to reboot, you have to reboot your system so that the drivers can be installed, and that was a major solution for me. Now, that's what will help me get my shit recognized in Elgato and OBS. I don't like the Elgato software already as it is, so... My recommendation, if it doesn't work with the drivers, you might have changed your PCIe Express slot. Usually if you guys, the system recommendation, uh, rec requirements is, uh, I think in i5 and all the other stuff, I think if you have anything from 2016 or 2015, you should be perfectly fine. Just keep, you might have to change your PCIe Express slots or just simply download the drivers and that should be it. Hope that answers some of you guys' questions. And hope that helps you guys out. If it didn't, let uh, let us know in the comment section down below. Either I can help you or probably some of you peers from YouTube can possibly help you with uh, comments uh, replying to you guys. So, hope you guys have a blessed day. See you later. I'm out. Peace.